Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Spotlight Whitening Strips alongside their toothpaste. This I got a couple of weeks ago and I just really wanted to film my review on my channel and let you know whether or not these are better or worse than the Crest White Strips I've tried previously. I'll link that video above and down below if you want to check that one out. And so today I thought I'd give these a go and share my opinion with you as I go along the journey. This is a two week treatment as well as a toothpaste you can continue to use so I thought that I would show you what's inside do a quick unboxing of the product show you how I apply them and then also the results in two weeks time and let you know whether or not I recommend these products so without further ado let's get straight into the video So within this kind of container, I feel like this is such a nicely packaged item. It comes like this. This is cardboard as well, so you can recycle this, which is fab. And inside it appears like this. So you get your two week whitening strips, which is in this almost velvet bag. I feel like it's very, very luxurious feeling. And I feel like it looks so, so nice. And you basically get 14 days worth of whitening strips within this little pouch which is fantastic value for money again if they work for the price because these were really affordable and i was really really impressed by how much you've got for the price so i have high hopes and also so many people that i follow use this teeth whitening system and claim they have really good results and i can see really good results but again i don't know whether that's sponsored and an artificial opinion and so i thought i'd try it myself and share my opinion obviously this is not sponsored and so it gives you a really honest look into how I feel about the product and you also get a toothpaste here to use alongside the whitening strips which I think is quite a nice combination it's nice to have a toothpaste formulated to work with these which is very very exciting I love trying out new products like this so in here you get your 14 day whitening strips and you get an upper and a lower strip in each packet which I am really really excited to try out I am just in need of whitening my teeth. I will show you a close-up of my teeth, how they are now, and then we can compare them to the after and see if they have made a dramatic difference. But yeah, you get quite a lot of product in there, which I think is really, really good. These are like made by dentists, I believe. And so they are claimed to be really, really good. And also what I liked about these is that they said that they're suitable for sensitive teeth. I had to stop using the Crest White strips because they just really hurt my teeth and I had really, really bad pain. So I'm hoping that that isn't the case with these whitening strips. And obviously as I go through the two week process with you, I will let you know how I get on. Every time you leave a strip on, you have to leave it on for an hour. So it's considerably more time than whitening strips I've used in the past. But then again, I find whitening strips aren't too bothersome. So you can like put them in and get on with your day-to-day -day tasks. And I don't find them to be too interrupting. So that's kind of my consensus on that. Let me show you what my teeth are looking like now. Okay, so I've just reduced the exposure of my camera because I have it a little bit brighter just so my videos look better. But this is like true color and so this is what my teeth are looking like now i feel like my teeth aren't the most yellow ever but i definitely like to whiten them regularly to keep up the appearance of whiteness and i find that white teeth really do give me a confidence boost so it's something that i do like to test out whether or not i always talk about it on my channel or not i always find that whitening my teeth just makes such a big difference to my confidence and so i'm really excited to see how these work so I'm just going to quickly read the description of the product and then we'll get in to using them. It says, how do they work? The colour of your teeth is influenced by a combination of both the natural shade of your teeth and external stains that accumulate over the years, such as tea, coffee, red wine, etc. Hydrogen peroxide breaks down these stains in two ways. One, by breaking down complex stains that have built up over time on the tooth surface. And number two, by penetrating the outer layer of the enamel. By penetrating the outer layer of the enamel surface, brightening the colour of the tooth surface. So the teeth whitening strips contain 28 strips, 14 upper and 14 lower. To use, tear open a full packet to find a top strip and a bottom strip. Dry the teeth, place the whitening strip on the teeth. We advise placing the lower strip first, followed by the upper strip. Leave the strips in place for one hour. After an hour, remove the strips and brush your teeth. Repeat every day for two weeks for a brighter, whiter smile. And you've got the ingredients listed too. I'm going to dry my teeth i hate that feeling when you have to put like something to your teeth um, and then we'll put them on the upper and lower 
sections of my teeth and then I will show you the results after two weeks and let you know what I feel about them. This is what they look like before I put them on. I'm gonna take the bottom one as it instructed and put that on my bottom teeth. Right, okay, they are now on my teeth and they feel very comfortable actually. So I'm gonna set a timer, excuse the fact that I'm lisping a little bit. Um, I'm gonna just set a timer for an hour's time and then I'll remove them and let you know how the first application went and then we will continue it for two weeks. So I'll just click start now and I'll be back in an hour and let you know how the experience went the first time using them. Okay, so the hour is now up and I'm about to remove the whitening strips. The bottom one like here slightly came away, but other than that, they're well intact. They've stayed on really well, which I'm really, really happy about because sometimes they do slip and slide, but actually I found that these have stayed on for the most part. It's just that bit there, but that's not an issue. And yeah, I can't say that I've like noticed them dramatically changing already, but I'm gonna remove these and then I'm gonna clean my teeth. Oh, they're so sticky. <laughs> oh, the texture on my teeth after I've removed them is so weird, but I'm gonna brush them. So I'll continue doing this for 14 days and then I'll show you the results right at the end and then conclude this video and let you know whether or not I would recommend them. Okay, I'm back and it's been two weeks since I started the Spotlight Oral Care Whitening Strip treatment and I'm pleased to say that I was able to use the whitening strips consecutively for 14 days. It didn't interfere with my sensitive teeth and so that wasn't a problem, which is great. But it's great that I could use them consecutively for 14 days because the Crest whitening strips, if you've watched that video, I had to stop using them because they caused too much pain for my sensitive teeth. I do have very, very sensitive teeth and so that is why. Well, what I'm going to do now is just zoom you in and show you the results so you can see the results and I can talk more about the product because I have some strong opinions I really want to share and they might be seen as a little bit controversial. So make sure you watch until the very end to be really informed in the Spotlight Oral Care system because I, yeah, I have some like really strong thoughts I really want to share and I know that it's probably not what a lot of people are saying, so that's what I'm going to do. However, let me show you my teeth now because I'm sure that's what you're looking to see and then I'll get on to my final thoughts of the product, but do stick by and watch this video because, yeah, there's probably some things that are going to shock you. So this is how my teeth are looking. I do believe that they are slightly whiter than the before, but honestly, I don't see a dramatic difference. I definitely don't think that they've shifted a few shades lighter as they advertise. And generally, for the fact that I've used them for 14 days consecutively for an hour each time, I feel like I'm a little bit disappointing in the end result. Of course, these are an affordable teeth whitening system, but with that said, I just think I had higher expectations based on the raving reviews that not only other influencers give but other consumers of the product too so this is my after and i'm not sure let me know what you think down below in the comments any differences that it has made to my teeth i think have been very subtle and yeah i don't think i'm wowed by the product so the reason I really wanted you to watch until the end of this video is because I wanted to share my thoughts and opinion on the way in which they advertise this product. And the reason being is that they advertise that this is an active hydrogen peroxide based formula, which sounds very, very good. Of course, I'm sure that many of you have seen the viral TikTok that went extremely viral and just was everywhere a couple of months ago whereby the girl was putting hydrogen peroxide straight onto her teeth and that was a three percent formula and she achieved whiter teeth by doing that whether that's safe or not is another video but 
that was 3% hydrogen peroxide and the Crest whitening strips that I've used in the past were 14% and dentists use I believe up to 16% but of course they use it in a professional manner so it's not something that I definitely wouldn't recommend doing it at home and if you were to definitely seek professional advice before you do so. So of course Spotlight advertise their teeth whitening strips as having the active ingredient and when I looked at the ingredients list hydrogen peroxide was at the very very end. Now you see this a lot in skincare where they'll say they have a specific ingredient that draws your attention to the product but in reality it's really really low down on the ingredient list and when you look at the percentage of that specific ingredient in the product it's extremely low. And this is exactly the same case for Spotlight. When I did some research, I couldn't find on the package how much hydrogen peroxide were in these whitening strips. I was really curious because of course I didn't have any sensitivity to these. And so I thought, I, wa I wonder, because they didn't advertise it on the products and I couldn't see it anywhere on their website. So I managed to find this on the QVC website that uh, a third party seller of the Spotlight teeth whitening strips and I couldn't find it anywhere else but I found the hydrogen peroxide percentage on that website and it's 0.1% hydrogen peroxide. Bear in mind hydrogen peroxide is the ingredient that turns your teeth white and I know that obviously different percentages have different varying levels on your teeth and it can affect sensitivity differently and of course different people can have different results that's with literally any product on the internet and so when I share my review, I'm speaking from a personal perspective and granted some people have had amazing results, which is something I want to talk about next. However, the hydrogen peroxide percentage of 0.1% is literally the lowest amount of hydrogen peroxide you can put into this product. And so I'm really, really disappointed by that. And again, my channel is always honest. I know this means that Spotlight will never ever want to work with me in the future. However, 0.1% of hydrogen peroxide is literally the lowest amount. And I'm actually shocked. I imagine that this would have maybe two to 3%. However, it's 0.1% and so it's no wonder why I don't feel like I've seen a dramatic difference. And yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because that is honestly shocking. Um, I can't believe how low it is and I just think that that is really terrible when you're talking about it having an active ingredient but the active ingredient you put the lowest amount you could possibly put into the product so that's definitely something that I wanted to share with you. Now I'm not saying that that means that people that have shared these before and after photos are necessarily lying. That said I know some influencers not necessarily that are sponsored by Spotlight but just generally teeth whitening systems in general do edit their before and afters. I've seen that all it takes is uploading a after photo onto Facetune, adding a little bit of whitening tool to make it look dramatic because ultimately they're there to sell a product and if they have a sponsorship in place, they have money coming in for working with that brand, then of course they're going to try and do what they can to sell the product. I understand why they do it, but at the end of the day it's lying to your audience which is just terrible. I'm not saying that that's the case on this and for all the influencers that use it because ultimately different people will react to these whitening strips in different ways. All you have to do is look on the reviews on their website and other websites whereby they sell the product to see genuine before and afters and some people really have had dramatic results with these whitening strips which is fantastic. However, I just haven't and I just don't believe for me they are worth the money because they haven't really done anything for me and so I did obviously wanted to share that but I do know that some influencers that work with other brands do edit their photos so like always just be mindful if you're seeing a really dramatic difference just try to question whether or not you think they've legitimately got those results and just do a bit more research and see other people's reviews. So Spotlight have got a lot of consumers whereby they have notice a huge difference in their teeth whitening by using this product which is fantastic and I'm really really pleased for those people because of course they've paid for a product that they have then received and they're really happy with the results however for me I just feel like I haven't really got those results especially not the results that I thought I was going to get I genuinely thought that these were going to really change the appearance of my teeth I'm not saying that my teeth were particularly bad to start with but I thought I would see a difference and whilst I've been doing this for the past two weeks I just don't believe that I have 
So yeah, that is basically my thoughts on the whitening system. I'm sorry that it turned a little bit like this at the end, but I was really, really shocked to find that out. And of course I wanted to share that with you in case you were looking to invest in these whitening strips and you wanna test them out and you wanna try them and see what they're like, because I literally bought two packs of these because I thought they were gonna be really, really good. I've seen amazing before and afters from a lot of the influencers that I follow online. However, I am just left a little bit deflated. So I wanted to share my experience with you as a completely non-sponsored completely honest review so that you know this information going into your purchasing decisions because even though I think they're $39.95 for retail price but there's always a 20% off code somewhere it's still a lot of money to spend on a product that might not work for you and so I wanted to share my research and my results with you so that you can take that information and then use that to help decide whether or not you want to give them a try so yeah that is <laughs> my experience with the spotlight oral care teeth white in strips i am really shocked honestly i just expected such great things and i'm really disappointed but yeah that is everything for today's video hopefully this video has been quite short and concise but i just want anyone that is considering buying these teeth whitening strips to watch this video and just be informed because I can't believe the low levels of hydrogen peroxide. It's just shocking. But yeah, that is everything from me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have or you found it helpful. It really does help me out so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would absolutely love to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could hit that subscriber button and comment down below, let me know that you've done so. That would be amazing. And I'm always replying to your comments. So if you have any questions or anything, do leave them down below and I'll definitely answer them it might take me a little while but i will get to you and yeah that is everything from today's video i hope to see you in my next one bye guys